Hey guys, it's your girl Crystal, and we are currently playing Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. We are currently trying to find a way off the planet, now that we have found Bastila. So why don't we go and see what we can find. Okay, let's take Bastila and Karth with us. Yes. Why, yes, I am. Ni Bobo Jimata, ni Punaje, Dolpi Kik Nunyan. That's right. Rundi Hadonga Kuhunga B. Wana Kumbes, Jink Palamul, Tonk King Ba na Kumkek. Tonka Tachun Kun Nek Muli Rabest. Candorus, isn't he the Mandalorian that works for Davik? Takum justak miki gravel mogo. Kachi chu aithao dunga. I agree. Tulpata bunk molya gando danago chuchut. Moga shampunkpa bula wana chikni. Bamule slik mo poda na wanga kun beast muli rabest. Tong hai tuam jiji yumalith pa ang inkotu. I agree. Thanks. For the message, I'll go meet him in the cantina. I feel it. Nikin kuno ba muli ra jikun? Wama kun bes. Chin palamuji. Tunira nu prata dunko. Sercha domandoma. Journal entry added. A message. Uh, a messenger has informed you that Candorus Ordo, a Mandalorian working for the local crime lord, wants a meeting. Although associating with a known Helen may not be the wisest move. You do need all potential allies you can get if you want to get off Terrace. Candorus will be waiting for you in the cantina. Okay. Let's level everybody up. Skills. I wanted to do security. Feats. Can I do that? Nope. What about the fury, right? Nope. Flurry. Mm, characters that focus on using single one-handed weapons in battle game. Plays of both range and melee weapons. I don't do one-handed though, is the thing. Mm. This feat gives a one plus skill bonus repair security and computer use. Okay. Accept. Attributes. Let's do just strength for her. Skills. Let's do awareness. Powers. Using a force power requires force points. Your light slash dark side rating affects the force point cost of some powers. The further you stray to the dark side, the more expensive light side powers become. And the less expensive dark side powers become and vice versa. Okay. Can I not do healing? Damn, you have to be level 6. Mm. Why don't we do Force Lightning, actually, for this bitch? Accept, level up, skills. Um, Let's do computer use. Power, still not high enough. Burst of speed we can do for her. Level up. Uh, let's do computer use again. Feats. Oh, force immunity stun. Night sense. This feat further reduces the attack penalty of a character reading, wielding a double bladed weapon or two weapons. Let's give her this. Let's give her the light side power for health regeneration. Except. 
Level up skills. Demolitions. Feats. Isn't there one for two weapons? Oh, or let's do the flurry for him up. Except. Cool. Cool. Now let's go to the cantina. Upper City South. Is he in the Upper City Canteen, I wonder? Or would he be in the Lower City? I feel like he's in the up. I don't remember. He might be in the Upper City? Vasto seems to have something on her mind. Perhaps you should talk to her about it. Speak to How can I help? Uh, you want to talk to me about something? I would like to know what happened after you crashed on Taurus. I'm curious as to what you and Karth were doing before we all joined forces. If, uh, we were looking for you. Yes, I realize that, of course. But surely there was more to it than a simple search. I doubt there were flashing signs pointing you in my direction. Yet somehow you found me. You also avoided detection by the Sith, discovered I was a Vulcan prisoner, Gained sponsorship for the race mm. and became the Taurus. That is actually that's quite a resume. I had a lot of help, Karth, Mission, and Zalbar. Your modesty is admirable. But though others helped, you were the catalyst for these events. When you were chosen to join this mission, I doubt any of us expected this much from you. A Jedi could have done such things, of course, but only by drawing heavily upon the force. You're trying to say that I can control the force? The force is in all of us. Though for most people, it's barely a measurable whisper. But there are some individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider force-sensitive. It's obvious to me that the force has been working through you. There is no other explanation for your great success. Though I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps if you weren't... Well, if you were younger, the Jedi might take you for training. But as it is... What are you trying to say? step my authority. I'm speaking of things that are best left to the Jedi Council. For now, let's just accept the fact that you're gifted. Hopefully, between your abilities, my Jedi training, and the skills of our companions, we can find a way off this planet. Hopefully. Okay, journal entry added. Bastel has told you she sees that the Force is acting through you. However, she was reluctant to speculate further, feeling such matters are the providence of the Jedi Council. I feel it. Okay, I believe this is the can- yep, canteen up here. Let's see if he's up here. Or if he's down below. Nope, he's up here. I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. Who are you? My name's Candorous Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater piece. I feel it. How do you plan to do that? I've got a plan to escape Taris, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. Careful. Mercs like this having a lick of conscience. They'll betray you in a heartbeat. This could be a trap. I ain't talking to you. <laughs> I'm talking to your friend, aren't I? I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. Maybe. I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith Fleet's automated defense guns. What's in this for me? Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. How am I supposed to get inside the military base? Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. 
Davik was having one custom built by Janice Nall. Just tell her Candorus sent you, and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Won't Davik get mad if I take his droid? Davik paid for the droid, but I'm the guy he put in charge of the mission. He won't care how I come up with those codes. Normally, I do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. Okay, Candris, you've got a deal. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javiar's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. Okay. Purchasing a droid. Candace has told you that Janice Null has a droid in her upper city shop that could get you into the Sith base. He said to just mention his name and she'll sell him to you. Candace ordered a Mandalorian mercenary working for Davik will help you get off the planet if you break into the Sith military base and recover the planetary departure codes. A T3 droid could get you past the security doors but it'll take more than that to deal with the Sith troopers inside. Okay. Let's go. Because I believe she's on the other side. Right? I think she is. Let's see. Bastila, I was wondering something. How did those Vulcans manage to capture a famous general like you? Or were you knocked out when your escape pod crashed? N no, I was conscious. I was worried about meditation in the battle for the end of Spire. Oh. Without my help, you might have never gotten off the ship alive. Fair enough, but I've seen you Jedi in action. There's there's no way those thugs could have stood a chance against your lightsaber. My lightsaber was misplaced. I couldn't find it after the crash. I looked everywhere in that pod. The Vulcas came and overwhelmed me even as I was searching for my weapon. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You lost your lightsaber? <laughs> I mean, isn't that a violation of some kind of Jedi code or something? Leave her alone, card. What's new laughing matter? During the crash, my lightsaber must have... It, it must have fallen from my belt and rolled under my seat. The Vulcans probably found it there when they searched the wreckage. Hey, 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 don't get mad. I'm sorry. It's just funny to think of a legendary Jedi losing her lightsaber. Take my advice. This is one you might want to keep out of the history taxes. I hardly mm -hmm. consider myself a legend, card. Though I will consider your advice when I relate these events to the Jedi Council. There is no need for them to know every detail of what transpired. Damn. So I think over here is the medical bay, right? Yeah, medical facility. Okay, cool. So, let's go over here. Yeah, because those are apartments. Oh. These kids fucking with this guy. Poor guy. Get out of here, you goggle eyed freak. You're too ugly for the upper city. Yeah, oh my God. go back to where you came from. We don't want your kind up here. Hey, you kids, leave that Thorian alone. Why do you care what happens to some scummy alien? He's just a freak. Yeah, he isn't even supposed to be in the upper city. Just because he's different doesn't give you the right to attack him. Come on, let's go. I don't want to listen to this alien lover anymore. 
You look hurt. Here, I've got a med pack. Let me help you. Go back to your partner, boo. Nice, I got some life side points as well. Okay, let's go get this droid. Did you ever think about joining all the Jedi who were running off to follow Revan and Malak when they went to fight the Mandalorians? That was nearly five years ago. I was still an apprentice. My battle meditation hadn't even manifested itself. Yet even then, I had the wisdom to obey the will of the Council. Unlike Revan. I guess. Still, do you ever wonder if things could have been different? Or would Revan and Malak still have been corrupted if the Council had supported them instead of dragging its feet? Do not blame Revan's corruption on the Council. Your Republic saw only the threat of the Mandalorians, but the wisdom of the Masters saw beyond the immediate threat. Uh, uh, uh. What do they see exactly? Oh no, sounds like you're just making excuses, Bastila. There was something lurking out there. Something that devoured Revan and Malak, and many other Jedi. Had the Council sent us all into the unknown, how many more would have fallen? So you're saying we should have done nothing? Just let the Mandalorians conquer us unopposed? I mean, the Republic was under attack, and the Order abandoned us. We did not abandon you, but the Council were not about to throw lives away foolishly. In time, we would have aided you against the Mandalorians, but you couldn't wait. Revan and Malak offered a quicker answer, and the Republic chose to walk the easy path rather than the path of wisdom. Now we see the results all around us. You asked me if I think things could have been different. I know they could have. If Revan had only listened to the Council, millions of innocent people would still be alive. Yeah, right, and every single one of them Speaking Mandalorian, I, I think we're done here. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Oh, uh, you tell her, car. Okay. Yep, there's our girl with the droid. Hachu a punky, Jishawa a nibun ka sha, chona si, ichua biong bo joni, mina mamba to mule ra, haku gri kat gota parabola. Candace said you'll sell the T3M4 droid to me. Mokao dang ya foki, chachiska do punta kakaspa, damn, but no oto. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Kin ba mule radwana, don kin ba no kudnok nek. Kava numpa kum pialia monokata, ranga kun bis kin no moruat, kakin chana guana brokon. Damn it, I'm gonna have to fucking be a dick. Watawama muliri, kin kun chopeshwa, no ba mule raji, jone yuturi yanchi, either bola on chich nek, ba muli salima wanga kun bis kin. Sorry, bitch, I didn't mean to threaten you. Okay. Sorry, my man. Gotta put the T3 in there. Damn it. I really didn't want to gain dark side points. Fast what, bitch? Do you even have a weapon? No, she doesn't. Oh, shit. There's her lightsaber. Nice. Hey, T3. Okay, let's level you up. Attributes, intelligence, skills, definitely computer use, demolitions, yes. Mm, repair, yes. Accept. Yes. Demolitions, yes. Awareness, repair, feats.
What is this one? As a droid gains experience, the program becomes more adaptable. The new situations this allows it to accommodate more sophisticated upgrades. Okay. Let's do the two weapon fighting, though. Skills, computer use, of course, demolition, of course, a whim, hair, of course, feats, tactical, logical upgrade. And then let's give it that one. Accept. I'll give you two blaster pistols, my friend. Okay, mm -hmm. let's go. Fuck you. Okay, let us go. Let us hack into the Sith little Sith room military base. What could I even do it? No, I was gonna say, I don't think I can. Thank you, T3. Kavadumpa Kapalia Monapata. Oops. Bonanakachu. Yin Kin Kun Noba Mule Rachi Kun. Tong Nabun Shanu Yang. I'm here for a meeting, don't worry. <laughs> Where I have to go. Damn it. Na Kava dumpa kupaliaya mokar pata. Kakin cha na kwat na bon con. Wana kumbes. Chi pala mulek. Tonki pa na nonek. Tu nik ton chu chun ki nemolek rabest. Wuf mala nibo kurk. Mmm, look, here's 50 credits. Just don't hit that alarm. Kin kun shi kakachin awana wamata. Oh, stay, bitch. I know you ain't loyal. Horse girl. Just run. Oh, hello. I'm here to talk to you about your insurance policy. Okay, cryo band grenade, repair kit. What does he have? Data pad. this door open? No, it does not. Standard door. Oh, hello! Oh, there's just nothing but droids in here. Droid light plating type 1, energy shield level 2, computer probe. Med pack. Okay. What can I do? Push A to activate a defensive force power highlighted in the fifth icon of action menu. Some force powers affect only the Jedi using them. Others affect the entire party. And stay the health I know affects everybody. Oh look, another door to open. Hello. Did it work? No? Yeah, let's just leave it. Never mind, buddy. Hmm. 
Okay, let's try this door. Nice. Oh, hey, my man. Yes. I remember you, buddy. Right, I remember you. How do I get you up? Oh. Okay. Okay, let's try this out then. Nice. Just get out of here, my man, while you can, before anyone sees you. Nice. Okay. Let's see if I can do this door. Oh, hello. What's in here? Oh, a lot of people. Okay. What can I do? Start by healing everybody, bitch. Okay. Let's see, can we deactivate this? Nice. Open this door. Rusted droid. Well, you ain't gonna be any help to anybody. Standard door. Literally leads back here. What's this? Uh, computer spike, advanced med pack. Say, help yourself out, buddy. Yeah. Well, we're just combing through everybody in this fucking phase. Yeah, take that, motherfuckers. Okay. So the base pass card, improved energy cell. Credits, grenade. What can I do? Heal me, Bastila. You're my only hope. Okay. Do that one. Oh. Whoa. Nice. 
Oh. Take that assault droid with giant shield around it. And help me. Cool. These are so much easier to get rid of. Okay, I got a shield. You got your shield. You're fully healed. You're not fully healed, bitch. Let me give you a shield. Oh. Well, does armband not act as a shield? There we go. Say, bitch, help me out over here. There we go. I thought you saved this right here. Okay. Let's go up to the top. Oh God, not Who this motherfucker. Who dares to break my meditation? You will pay for interrupting my... Wait, I sense the force is strong with you. Very strong. Who would have thought a force adept could be found on this insignificant planet? But your talent is no match for a disciple of the dark side. Turn away from the dark side. It won't lead you to anything but destruction. Spoken like a true drone of the Jedi Council. We Sith, however, have learned to embrace the potential of the dark side. It is what gives us strength. This meeting is a stroke of luck for me. My master will surely reward me with my lightsaber once I kill you. The fuck is your master? Malak? Ooh. Say that hit me really hard. Can't stop us, can't stop us. Ooh, 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 yeah. Oh. Not him force draining us. Nice. Got him. Terrace launch codes. Adrenaline, amplifier, energy shields, strength gauntlets, neural band. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Durst steel bonding alloy, computer spike, security spike, light battle armor. 500 credits. Nice. I'm here. Hey, buddy. Give yourself a repair kit. Hmm? Okay, let's go back down. Okay. Oh, Asla, can you heal me? Let's get the fuck out of here before more Sith show up. There we go. Let's go meet our man in the Undercity. What are you doing outside of where you are? 
police, Sith patrols, and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower city. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols. So unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. Um, I got my authorization papers right here, bitch. Well, why didn't you say so? Hmm. Everything seems to be in order. Okay, I guess you can go down to the lower city. Just be careful down there. Those swoop gangs will take a shot at anybody. Even our Sith patrols have come under fire. Bitch, you told me that last time. I'll take you out. Oh. Adhesive grenade, repair kit, and eight credits. Oh, don't need to go that way. Need to go for Tantina over here. Oh, hey, friend. I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break-in. And I know it was you. I know you've mm. got those departure You know a lot, don't you? So what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base. And right to the Ebon Hawk. We can go right now. Okay, let's join up. But how are we going to get me inside Davik's estate? Tavik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race and mention that you're interested in working for the exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. This is too risky. We should find another way. You got another plan, sister? Or are you just objecting because you didn't think of it? Mm. I don't have another plan. I would rather not place my life in your hands, however. I can say the same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both want to get off this rock, right? While Davik's Good checking points. you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on. I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taurus, the better. I couldn't agree more. Candace has joined your party. Candace has a special cybernetic implant that regenerates minor wounds. Nice. Yeah, we'll have him in Bastila. Uh oh, cutscene. Uh oh. Oh shit, it's the big bad boy himself. You summoned me, Lord Malak. The search for Bastila is taking too long. We cannot risk her escaping Taras. Destroy the entire planet. The, the entire planet, Lord Malak. But there are billions of people on Taras. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of, of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes. He'd like to murder everybody. Fuck them all. So, Candorous, I see you've brought someone with you. 
Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Canterus. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest cat hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Canterus has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Davak. I ran into someone the exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive, as was your display in the rather uh -huh. battle afterwards. Good to finally meet you, Davik. My name is Crystal. You know, Candorus was right. The exchange is always looking for new talent. You could have a bright future with our organization. With the recommendation from Candorus and a thorough background check, you could become part of the exchange. Many oh, would kill you. to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Your offer intrigues me, Davik. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fast ship my the ship, bitch. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. Well, do you know I have the codes, bitch? These will be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you Ugh. need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. I'm looking forward to working with you, Davik. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. Damn. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callum. Let us leave our guests in peace. Well, you're harsh. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk's security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. True. Cool. As promised, Canaris got you inside Davik's estate. The terrorist crime lord gave you a tour of his facilities, including the hangar where the Ebon Hawk is stored. All you have to do now is find the codes to disable the Hawk's security system. Nice. Well, my friends, I think this is a good place to end this video. But like always, I'll see you on the next one. And may the Force be with you.